Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا قال الله تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما قال الله تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون ثم ما بعد فان خير اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي وهدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه كل بدعه ضلاله كل ضلاله في النار بلغ الرساله وأدى الأمانة وكشف الغمة ونسح الأمة وجاء حتى في الله حق جهاده حتى طاح اليقين ثم ما بعد استاذ بيزنج الله سبحانه وتعالى وسن بليسنجز اند سالوتيشنز تو بيلافد بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اند هيز فاميلي اند هيز كومبانيونز اند اول اوف هيز فولوورز انتل ذا اند اوف ذا تايم ان شاء الله تو داي اي وونت تيك ا ليتل مومنت تو ريمايند ماي سيلف اند اول ذا برادرز اند سيسترز regarding an important topics which is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the morning and the evening 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us this very important protection for us. But we, ta- we ta- most of the time we don't realize these things, this protection. This protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can get easily with some simple words but we don't rely on those things. We don't know those things. For protection we rely on so many other worldly things. We, t- we forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet Muhammad prescribed as protection from Allah and his passengers. <coughs> Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah, I want to take a little, talk about a little bit about this so that you can understand the importance of the azkar in the morning and evening. Remembering, remembering Allah in the morning and in the evening. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran that in the remembrance of Allah do heart find us. <coughs> if we need the rest in our heart, peace in our heart, then we need the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing else can give you the peace of mind. No music, no sing, no song, nothing can give you peace of the mind except the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you should go back to Allah and His Messengers, teaching of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ فِي نَفْسِكَ تَذَرُّعًا وَخِيفَةً وَدُونَ ذَلِكَ وَدُونَ دُونَ الْجَحْرَ مِنَ الْقَوْلِ بِالْغُدُوِّ وَالْآثَارِ وَلَا تَكُنْ مِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ <clears throat> And remember your Lord within yourselves in humility and in fear without being apparent in speech in the mornings and in the evenings and do not be among the heedless <clears throat> Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala tumader bolte sen tumra tumader protipalokke mone mone shobinoy ebong shoshongko chitte anuchcho shore shoportush ebong shondhay shoron koro ebong tumi udashindher dolobokto hoyo na Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us, is telling us, is commanding us to remember him in the morning and in the evening. And if we don't do that, he said, don't be among the heedless one. So those who don't remember Allah and his, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the morning and evening, he are among the heedless. So we don't want to be among the heedless. So we should remember Allah in the morning and in the evening. May Allah give us tawfiq. Further, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned another ayah. وَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ قَبْلَ تُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ وَقَبْلَ غُرُوبِهَا شُرْجَرْ اُدَوَيْ مَنْ اُسْتِرْ پُرْبَي تُمَارْ پُتِ پَالَ كَيَا شَوْ پَشْوَنْ شَوْ پَوِتْرَ تَبُوْ مُحِمَا بَنَوْنَا كَرُوْ Allah SWT mentioned this ayah Exalt your Lord with praise before the rising of the sun and before its setting So Allah SWT is telling us, He's commanding us, He's giving us order when to remember Him And He is telling us exactly the timings before the sunrise and before the sunset That means in the morning and in the evening. So Allah is telling us. So many of us don't even understand that this is the time of Asqar. We are so busy in, our, in this worldly life. We, we don't even realize that this is the special times Allah mentioned in the Quran. May Allah SWT give us tawfiq. <clears throat> Further Allah SWT mentioned in another ayah. وَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ بِالْعَشِيِّ وَالْإِبْكَارِ তিনি আল্লাহ সুবহান ওয়া তাআলা বলেছেন যে সকালে বিকালে তোমার প্রতিপালক এর সপ্রসঙ্গ পবিত্রতা এবং মহিমা ঘোষণা করো দ্য সিমিলার আয়াত আল্লাহ ইজ মেনশনিং ইন দিস আয়াত দ্যাট রিমেম্বার ইয়োর লর্ড এক্সালট ইয়োর লর্ড উইথ প্রেজ ইন দ্য মর্নিং এন্ড ইন দ্য ইভনিং সো আল্লাহ ইজ টেলিং আস ইন ভেরিয়াস আয়াতস দ্যাট রিমেম্বারিং আল্লাহ ইজ आवर ডিউটি ইজ অবলিগেটেড আপন আস ইন দ্য মর্নিং এন্ড ইন দ্য ইভনিং এন্ড দ্য আয়াত আল্লাহ সুবহান ওয়া তাআলা মেনশন ফি বুয়ুতিন ফি বুয়ুতিন আযিন আল্লাহ ইন তাস ইন তারফা ওয়া ইউসকার ফি হাসমুহু ইসাবিহ বিল ইসাবিহ লাহু ফি হাল বিল গুদুউ ওয়াল আসাল আল্লাহ সুবহান ওয়া তাআলা সব গৃহে মানে মসজিদে কথা আল্লাহ বলছেন সেই সব গৃহে যাকে আল্লাহ সমুন্নত করতে এবং যাতে তার নাম স্মরণ করতে নির্দেশ দিয়েছেন সকাল এবং সন্ধ্যায় তাতে তার পবিত্রতা এবং মহিমা ঘোষণা করে এবং সেই সব লোক তার যাদেরকে ব্যবসা বাণিজ্য এবং ক্রয় বিক্রয় আল্লাহর শরণ থেকে বিরত রাখে যেন না রাখে সো আল্লাহ সুবহান ওয়া তাআলা ইজ টেলিং আস ইন দোজ হাউস অফ আল্লাহ Mr. Allah is talking about the masjid, masajid. Remember Allah in the morning and in the evening. And Allah is telling us, what are the things that people keep people away from remembering Allah? Business, transaction. And Allah is telling us, Allah is telling that don't be among those people, that don't let them prevent remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't let their business and transaction prevent you remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah knows what's, gonna, what's going on. Allah knows what's going to happen. Allah knows what's going to prevent us from remembering Him. We can remember Allah because we have to go back to our job. We have to go back to our business because of the transaction. 
So Allah is telling us, Allah is warning us. So you can't put the blame on the, your business and transaction. Allah knows it. Allah knew about it. That's why Allah mentioned in the Quran. So you have no excuse. That all oh, my business is, I have to go back. Azkar is something we can do when, when you are working. Zikr is something that we can do whenever, wherever you are. Whatever state you are in. You can do Azkar anytime. There is no excuse for those things. <clears throat> May Allah give us tawfiq. For the mention, Allah SWT mentioned in the Quran, Inna sakharna al-jibala ma'ahu yusabbihna bil-ashii wal-ishraq. SubhanAllah, amazing ayat. In this ayat, Allah is talking about Da'ud alayhi salam. He's talking, indeed, we subjected the mountains to praise with him. With him means with Da'ud alayhi salam. Exalting Allah in the late afternoon and after sunrise. SubhanAllah, Allah is mentioning in this ayat that the way the mountains would remember Allah SWT, Allah SWT with Da'ud alayhi salam in the Afternoon and in the late afternoon. So if mountains remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mountains does zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about us. Subhanallah, amazing. We have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the morning and in the evening and every single time. We should keep our tongue much all the time with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> as, as I mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, bi Allah tatma'innu al That's the only way our heart will find rest. If you want peace, if you want peace of mind, if you want satisfaction, that's the only way to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. That's the only way. Period. <clears throat> Abu Radhanu reported, he said, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, he said, he who recites in the morning and the evening the statement, Subhanallah, he'll be hamdihi, that means Allah is free from imperfection and I begin with praising him 100 times a day. He, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, there is no one is better than him in deeds on that day. Better than this person. There is no one better than this person. Except the person who does more than that. How difficult is the word? Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Hundred times a day. If you count it, it's not going to take ten minutes. And you can be the best person in deeds on that day. Subhanallah. No one can beat you on that day. Except the person who does more than that. Amazing. We can do these things. We can have... Action, we can have amal of these, those things. Inshallah, every day, those who will remember, 100 times, Subhanallah, he'll be hamdihi. Inshallah, may Allah give us tawfiq. As Usman Bhutta said, Jebekti shokal chandar, Subhanallah, he'll be hamdihi, ek shoto bar part korebe, kiya mati din or chayit uttum amal ke wante par bina. Kindu jodhi ki utta shoman bata te, beshi shongka utta spi part kore, shay chala. Amazing. Subhanallah, may Allah give us tawfiq. Abu Radhan reported, Further, he said, a man came to Prophet and he said, Ya Rasulullah, what a trouble I suffered from a scorpion which stung me last night. I felt so bad. So a man came and he said, a scorpion stung him last night and he, he felt so bad. Then Prophet taught him, why didn't you mention a kalima? If you would have mentioned this kalima three times in the morning and three times in the evening, nothing could have harmed you. Now what is this? Three times in the morning, three times in the evening. Nothing from the creation of Allah can harm you. Subhanallah, protection right there. But we don't realize those things. We don't have practice of those things. Three times in the morning and three times in the evening. Subhanallah, Allah তো তাই তিনি শুনে রাসূল সাল্লাল্লাহু আলাইহি ওয়া সাল্লাম বললেন যে শোনো তুমি যদি সকাল সন্ধ্যায় সকাল বেলায় দোয়া পাঠ করতে আউযু বিকালিমাতি ইল্লাহি তাম্মাতি মিন শাররি মা খালাক তিন বার যখন অর্থ যে আমি আল্লাহর পরিপূর্ণ বাণীর ওসিলায় তিনি যা সৃষ্টি করেছেন তার মন্দ হতে আশ্রয় প্রার্থনা করছি তাহলে তা তোমার ক্ষতি করতে পারত না রুকিয়া আই देयर ইউ ডোন্ট হ্যাভ টু গো টু এ শাইখ ইউ ডোন্ট হ্যাভ টু গো লুক ফর এন ইমাম হু ডাজ রুকিয়া ইউ ক্যান ডু ইয়োর ওন রুকিয়া টু ইয়োরসেলফ টু ইয়োর ফ্যামিলি টু ইয়োর কিডস these are the ruqyas. One brother asked me one day, brother, how can I, uh, you know, in Bengali we say, shoril bondo kore. I mean, kiba shoril bondo korte pari. Shoril bondo kora da kiba pari. You don't need that, these things. You do the azkar, you do the zikr, you do the dua, the Prophet Sallam taught us. I directed him to the Histon Muslim. I said, take the book, Histon Muslim. That book has all the duas, the azkar, the morning and evening, and practice that. That's the ruqya. That's your protection from Allah and His Messenger. 
from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taught by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. <clears throat> in uh, Abdullah ibn Khubayr reported, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, recite Surah Ikhlas and al muabbida time. Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Nas three times at the dawn and dusk and it will suffice you in all respects. Rasulullah ki bolsen, shokal sundai, tin bar. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, qul huwa Rabbil Falaq, qul huwa Rabbil Nas, shokal tin bar, shonda tin bar. Three times in the morning, three times in the evening and that will suffice for everything. Now how many of us do these things? Do these things. Very easy. It doesn't take five minutes. Actually it doesn't even take three minutes. If someone wants to recite beautifully Surah Ikhlas, Surah Falaq and Surah Nas. Three times in the morning, three times in the evening. And there will suffice for everything. And who's, who said these things? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Who never lies. Subhanallah protection. These are the protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> Osman ibn Afwan radiallahu reported, he said Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, He who recites three times every morning and every evening, Bismillah al-lazhi la yadurru ma'asmihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fi samai wa huwa samiul alim. That's enough for him for that day. Three times in the morning and three times in the evening. Kiyo did shokalish from that in Baku report, Bismillah al-lazhi la yadurru ma'asmihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fi samai wa huwa samiul alim. That's enough for him for that day. Subhanallah. Amazing. And we also know about, everybody know about Ayatul Kursi. If someone decides Ayatul Kursi in the morning, he is done. He's, he's in Jannah. Except he did not die. If he dies on that day, he is in Jannah. If someone decides Ayatul Qursi in the evening time and he dies on that night, he will be in Jannah. Very simple, very easy, very cheap. You don't need to spend money for that. You don't need to give $100 or $200 to an Imam to teach you these things. But we don't take it. We don't give value to that comes free. You do your own ruqya, you recite Surah Fatiha, and you do your own ruqya. You're not going to have believe in this thing that, that can harm you, that can heal you. But if, if you pay an imam $500 and he comes, he'll do the same thing to you. And you'll feel like, oh, yeah, 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 I really feel better now. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, barakallah, fiqh imam, I really feel better. But he did the same thing to you. So what comes free, we don't give value to that. May Allah give us tawfiq. <clears throat> Inshallah, in the second part of khutbah, we'll discuss a little bit about this month we are in, month of Rajab. Aqulli qawli haza astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sari min fastaghfiruhu innahu wal ghafuru rahim. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in al-mabad. We are in the month of Rajab, which is one of the sacred month. One of the haram months. There are four haram months among the 12 months. And who created the months? As you all know, January, February to December. <clears throat> and we think those months are created by some of the some of the people. But actually the months created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, He said, <laughs> shahran fi kitab Allah. يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة أربعة هرم ذلك الدين ذلك الدين القيم فلا تزلم فيهن أنفسكم. Very the number of the months with Allah is twelve months. So who created the months? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We have inferiority complex. We think every good thing is created by other people. <coughs> Nowadays, uh, it's a little bit off topic. Two two days ago, actually three days ago. <clears throat> in India, they created a temple over a 550 years old masjid. 550 years old masjid, which, which is predated like 1500 years. Like 1500 um, years. Okay. So, which is 550 years old masjid. And they made a temple. They built a temple over the masjid. And their prime minister, who gives a statement, if you hear this, his statement, that's shocking, terrifying. He speaks like the way Hitler speaks. This is the new beginning. This is not the end. This is the first time. This is the beginning. 
And this is a warning, alarming sign for Muslims. The way they treat Muslims, they think the Muslims are the one that destroyed their culture, their heritage, their everything, which is false. If you study history, you will see that India was built by Muslims. Even nowadays, whatever is in India, whatever good is in India, built by Muslims. <clears throat> so that's, we have inferiority complex. We think all good things created by other people. Same thing, we think months are created by other people. This, this name, January, February, March, maybe it came from some Greek mythology. But Allah SWT is saying in the Quran, the month is 12. Allah created the months. <clears throat> and he said, it ordained by Allah on the day when he created the heavens and the earth. So when did he create the months? The, the day he created the earth. So from the very beginning of the creation, the month is 12 in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he said, of them four are sacred. The first, the seventh, eleventh, and twelfth months of the Islamic calendar. And this is the right religion, so wrong not yourselves therein. Allah is telling the wrong not yourselves in therein. So what is haram means? Haram, when you say haram months, people, we have a misconception about this word haram. That's why our people normally call, uh, when they go to Makkah and Medina, they say, I'm going to haram. They don't want to call it haram. They think it's haram. Calling haram, how can I say Makkah and Medina is haram? That's why they call it harem. Harem Sharif. Did you heard this word? Harem. They don't realize haram means the things is haram in dead places. Same thing, the sinning in those months is worse. And you cannot do so many things in those months which is which you could have done in other months, such as fighting is not allowed in this month, unless someone else initiated the fighting. So you cannot fight in the month of in the haram months. One of them is Rajab, which is we are in this month. <clears throat> Why you want to discuss about a little bit about this month? Because we have in our society, in our culture, there is some bid'ah going on regarding this month. <clears throat> some people fast in the month of Ramadan, month of Rajab, but there is no specific fasting mentioned in the hadith, authentic hadith that says fasting in the month of Rajab is recommended. There is no specific hadith. If you fast Monday and Thursday, you could do so. Same thing you do another month, you could do in this month. If you want to do 13, 14, and 15th, Ayyam will be, you can do so. Like today, some calendar says today is 13th, some calendar says tomorrow is 13th. So you could fast 13, 14, and 15th, inshallah, no problem with that. If someone has practice of fasting on every alternate days, you could do so. But there is no specific fasting for the month of Rajab alone. So if someone thinks there is fasting, it's bid'ah. You cannot do that. There is no... Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah mentioned, he said, every hadith that talks about the fasting in the month of Rajab, all of them are fabricated, all weak. So there is no specific fasting in the month of Rajab. <coughs> <coughs> the biggest, one of the biggest bid'ah in our culture, which is 27th Rajab. <coughs> we call, we think Prophet Muhammad went to Mi'raj on that night. There is no specific worship on that night recommended in Islam. If someone does that, this is clearly bid'ah. Shasar al Usaymin was asked about the fasting and uh, worshipping on and praying Salat on the 27th Rajab. And he mentioned clearly this is innovation, this is bid'ah. And if someone does that, that's a bid'ah. And that will this is a misguidance, this is a dalala. It will take him to Jahannam. Every single innovation is misguidance. And every misguidance will lead you to Jahannam. So whatever we did, we did suffer. May Allah forgive us for our shortcomings. But from now onwards, inshallah, no more bid'ah. Don't fast on the 27th Rajab. <coughs> I was going to, inshallah, I'm going to end the khutbah with one more thing, which is very rare in our society. In our, our people not, doesn't know much about this. <clears throat> How many people know about Salatul Raqaib? Anyone knows about Salatul Raqaib? Ever heard of it? Well, that's a very popular bid'ah, not in our society, which started in Palestine, 450 Hijra, <clears throat> around 450 Hijra. People in Palestine started this bid'ah. Very un unheard in our society. Why? Because in, uh, most of our people are followers of Hanafi Madhab, followers of Imam Abu Hanifa Rahimahullah. Imam Abu Hanifa Rahimahullah in his Madhab, 
That's it, it's a bid'ah. That's why it's not, it's very uncommon, very unheard of. <clears throat> so what is this? It's Salat, 12 Rakat Salat, first Friday of month of Rajab, between Maghrib and Isha. <clears throat> Preceded by, first thing on the day before, Thursday. So, so we first on Thursday, and on Friday, first Friday of the month, you pray 12 Rakat between Maghrib and Isha. They're called Salatul Raqaib. So, we don't know about it, but our scholars know about it, alhamdulillah. And they warned long time ago. Imam Nabawi Rahimahullah was asked about this bid'ah. He said, what's the ruling on this? And he said, he didn't even mention this thing. He didn't mention only this thing. He also added Laylatul Nisfah Min Sha'ban, which is another big thing in our society. He said, Salatul Raqaib and Salat in the night of Nisfah Sha'ban. Laylatul Nisfah bin Sha'ban, both of them are bid'ah, clear innovation. Some hadith talks about this. Some scholars bring some hadith which is completely fabricated. There is no practice from Sahabas, no practice from Ta'weeen, no practice from Atba'ud Ta'weeen. So why I mention these things? Ibn Taymiyyah also commented on this uh, bid'ah. He was asked and he said this clear bid'ah, innovation. So you cannot practice those things. Why I mention these things, you might think, why you even introduce this thing? We don't even know these things. <clears throat> because I don't want people to come and misguide us. Someone comes with big beard, lehya, and say, oh, this is something you could do. And that's how Bida are introduced in our society. Oh, such a big sheikh is doing something. That must be good things. No. So stay, keep awake. Stay awake. If someone comes with this kind of ideas, these are Bida. May Allah protect us from all kinds of bid'ah and all kinds of shirk. May Allah guide us. May Allah give us understanding. May Allah grant us understanding of this deen and this religion. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina azab al-nar. Rabbi rahamhuma kama rabbayani saghira. Rabbi shrah lai sadri wa yassir li amri. Wahlu al-luqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Allahumma aizal islam wa al-muslimin. Wa adilla shirka wa al-mushrikin. Wa dam min a'da al-deen wa ahmi hawzat al-islam ya rabb al-alamin. اللهم انصر دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك وعبادك الموحدين اللهم أنت انصر الإسلام وأحله في كل مكان اللهم أنت انصر الإسلام وأحله في كل مكان اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آله محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد إباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القرب وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون رزق الله الأكبر وقيم الصلاة